what is WB doing with Liv Morgan right now? Because coming off of the July 17th, 2023 episode of Monday Night Raw, I, I got questions, y'all. Do you have questions? Because I have questions. Liv Morgan had been paired with Raquel Rodriguez, Gonzalez, whatever she's going with these days. They were women's tag team champions earlier this year. Liv got hurt. They had to be vacated. They had to strip them of the women's tag team titles. Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler ended up winning them. Then Liv Morgan and Raquel come back and win the titles. Because Shayna Baszler turned heel on Ronda Rousey. So that wasn't the greatest booking decision either. Fast forward, Morgan and Raquel, they dropped the women's tag team titles on Monday Night Raw. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville are new tag team champions. Okay, fine. You want to get the titles off of them, that's great. But here's my point. Liv Morgan has severely been undervalued by this company and lost her way within the last year. She caught fire among the WB fan base in 2022. She went on to have a notable championship reign as a SmackDown Women's Champion. And the fans were behind her and they wanted to see her pushed. And ever since she's dropped that title, her stock has dropped, 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 dropped. And I'm tired of it. Clearly, fans are wanting to be behind her. Clearly, she can talk and clearly she can work. And I just don't understand what WB is missing in their thought process behind the usage of her. It's not even the title change. I get the title change. I think Raquel is very talented as well. But the fact that they have not really done anything with these two is just alarming. And it's outrageous. And it's something that really needs to change. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. So, as someone who is a fan of Morgan, I don't know where she goes from here. I think she's better off being on Raw because they need to fill TV time. And so that's working in her favor, and we'll see what they do coming out of this show. I don't know if you turn Raquel Hill and then have her feud with Morgan. I think that's a likely scenario. I think something that probably should happen. I think Raquel's a better um, heel than she is babyface. I don't know what they were doing with her when they called her up to the main roster because she was a really good heel in NXT, and then on the main roster they're like, oh, you're a babyface now, and it's like, yeah, I guess she can be a babyface, but she's not, to me, she doesn't come across very well as like a babyface uh, Latina, you know, supporting the fan base of, of Latinos uh, across, you know, the world. I, I just don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. But they got to do something with Morgan. 